back with another mukbang of course that's what we do here pretty much most of the time we're gonna get back into some asmrs hopefully pretty soon but this outdoor nature chirpity chirps like all this good vibe energy it's like the sun i'm sun gazing it's soul energy like it's it's a whole new vibe that i can't i can't even lie it's it's amazing now uh, there's a, a lot of things to address, but the main thing to address is actually the food, not this hat, but we will talk about the hat, but the food <laughs> seems to be the thing that y'all come for, other than me, of course, it's the summer, George, we all know this, but this place, Taco Time. Now, I know it's a chain, it happens in America places, kind of Canadian, whatever, whatever, I don't really truly know, but I'll say this, it is my dearly beloved passion of a of a of a uh, western mexican type thing so we're being super authentic with 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 the mexican food so i thought i'd wear a sombrero how many of you are so pissed that i'm wearing a sombrero right now doesn't matter though i'm doing me i'm all myself i'm feeling myself and we're gonna tell stories today just like the chinese video we're gonna have some of my favorites my hometown of favorites and we're going to tell stories, and it's going to be a funny story about my dad, and motocross, and uh, dookie, we'll call it. So, anyways, got some taco time here. Got to get into it. So, we're sauced up on the side, boom, 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 everything's nice. When you got sauce, everything's right in the world. So, we have a few items. This is what I'm saying. It's called a Messy Fries Deluxe. What it is, ladies and gents is tater tots deep fried ground seasoned meat pico de gallo cheese sauce sour cream amazo one of my faves i got the regular size didn't get the large because i need to tuck it in i don't want to have too too much now what taco time is to me it's like taco bell is really good and taco bell has its own ass flavor and everything like that that's great Taco Time is just, it's like, it's like a step above. It's like the Wendy's of Mexican, but not Mexican food. How about this? This is a crisp meat burrito, my friends. Look at that. That's beef inside of a like puff pastry, tortilla-ish type thing, rolled up. It's on a level of delicious that you probably can't handle. Unless you had it and you could handle it like me. And here's where I say that why this place is just a, a step above Taco Bell. It's because, like, look at this. You open up one of their tacos and it's it's fully filled. It's It's got substantial things to it, right? It's tried, tested, and true. It has filling, like it has, I just, I with Taco Bell, the filling is always off in terms of the, the quantitative amount. This is quantity, this is quantity meets quality, all in one. So, we pop open some mild sauces, of course. And we have to pop open a sour cream. And we start going. What I do with the mild sauce first is dump in the Mexi Deluxe. Right? Come up in that. Sun's shining on it now. We're getting to that angle. Look at this, guys. Huh. How is that not amazing? Thank you. 
It's hometown eats. Which always remind me of hometown stories. Now, I know you guys love the stories. So do I. I love telling them. I ain't afraid. It's, been, it's my life. I'm down to share my life. Why would I not? I've mentioned it a few times on our channel, but... I grew up racing motocross, dirt bikes, because I'm from a smaller sort of hick town in Canada. And we border Minnesota. And in America, in Minnesota, the racing scene for dirt bikes, motocross is much uh, more poppin', we'll say. Still good. It's like the Mexican poutine, basically. So, me, me and my dad, and, you know, a bunch of people from around here who were into it would travel down four or five hours into Minnesota, just past the Duluth, um, to go racing because it was just much better racing, much better, better track, better everything, better turnout. Felt, you know, on a higher level. So I started doing this when I was like about 12, all the way up to about 20. And um, this particular trip, I think I was a little bit older. I was like, you know, 17, 18 kind of thing. I'm just gonna finish up. Um, so with, 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 with motocross, with dirt biking comes crashing. You know, it's a extreme sport. You're going fast on a machine, and uh, chances are you're probably going to take a bail at some point. I'm taking many. I generally come out unscathed. Um, my father, uh, anyhow, other how, whatever how, wrong wording, verbiage, but whatever. He's taken many too, but it just seems that when he takes them, he doesn't come out unscathed. So, we show you the taco, and then we continue. Because you need to see the taco. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Up close and Percy. Let's do this. A little dump ski. And a dunk ski. So Mexican right now. So. We're down there. We go for the weekend. We get there on Friday night, spend the night, Saturday you practice, Sunday you race. It's a whole weekend event. Anyways, there's a... Like a pit area where you park your trailer and your vehicle and on a racetrack, you basically get to a point where it's like you pit in an area where you want to see. You try to get the most value for your for your visual. It's like where I'm pitted, I can get most of the track, but I can be close and things like that. So we pit near one of the most like exciting sections. 
of this fact. It's like a rhythm section, but there's a double and a triple. And I know that's foreign to most all of you. But basically all it means is like, you can jump kind of tiny or jump bigger on your dirt bike. And you know, my dad's kind of, you know, he's older, he's probably 50, I'll say, let's call it 50, almost 50. But he's still riding, he rides good. He's been riding since a young, since a youngin, and um, you know, he tries to push himself to the next level, even at that age, like he's not, he's not afraid, he's got skills. Um, and he, he's weirdly like always trying to get better, so. Eventually it comes race day and we have our truck and trailer and everything. We got our spot. We have our practice day and everything's good. Look at that. So, so clutch. So it's race day. And he's like. Mm -hmm. in this section he's not jumping the thing that he wants to jump and because he's older he goes out with a classification of his sort of age and talent the skill level so I get to sit by the sidelines and watch so I'm down there I'm watching he's coming around I can see him like charging up to the jump thinking about it. And I know eventually he's going to go for it. Because my dad's a G like that. Real shit. And uh, so eventually he does. When he goes for it, he cracks it way too hard off the throttle. And he gets, like, the front end of the bike. When you crack the throttle on a dirt bike, on a, on a takeoff, you get the front end come up. And now you're, like, going to pile drive your butt and everything into, like, Cause he didn't make the distance really. Like he kind of, he like went to go for for three for the triple. Then he just smashed into the the backside of the landing, but like this. So he's down and out. He's 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 hurt. He's it's it's hard. Like people come by. He's laying there. He's like writhing around, rolling around. That's not good. I'm kind of stressed. I'm like, oh my god, did my dad just like dome himself is is he dead is he kill himself whatever because my dad is when he crashes he crashes and uh so everything gets settled he gets up finally seemingly okay pretty okay he's not dead he's not knocked out whatever 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 Comes back to the truck, parks the bike, da, 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 and then we have this trailer. So it's like you go, like you go in the trailer, and that's where we would change and things like that. He knew his day was over at that point, and uh, oh yeah. So he's in, he's in the. Look at that, that's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Chris meat burrito. So he's in the trailer. I'm his only other hombre. This is me and him on this trip. Plus like some, a bunch of friends though that are pitted around us that are from the same area, from, from this city, from our town. <laughs> so he's in the trailer getting changed. 
into his regular wear because he's he knows he's done for the day. <laughs> and there's this hard door and a screen door. So the hard door is open and locked, and then there's a screen door. And I walk by the trailer, and I'm like, something smells funky. So I'm sniffing around. I, I walk over. I look through the screen door. I go, I go, is that shit? And he goes, he goes, I'm like, what do you mean? He's, he hit his ass, his body so hard in the crash. <coughs> that when he impacted, he literally diarrhea his entire pants, himself, everything. And between... The people on the track, the paramedics and stuff, they're trying to help him. That was his motivating factor because he knew in his head the whole time. He's like, he's like, I shit myself. Like I diarrheaed my butt. I've been pain and everything, and, da, da, da. and these people want to help me, like more doctorous stuff. But it's like, no, I got to get back to the trailer. I have to stealthily like throw these pants because they're fuck doo doo in them. So I'm out there, I'm like, is that shit? I say it so loud. And he goes, he goes, I shit myself when I, when I crash. I start dying laughing. I'm like, no way. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Slash disgusting. Slash amazing. Like I, and he's like, Shh, keep it down. Like, I don't want anybody like to around to know. Of course, the next door neighbors that are like from our same city, like over here, everybody comes running over. It's like all of a sudden it's just like, ah, like diarrhea boy. Like you shit yourself on the crash. Everybody's happy. It's okay. And, and everything. But they're also like, you get rats. Like, especially in a, like a motocross setting, it's very like dude, dude energy. So. Everybody's just chirping him for like pooing his pants upon impact. He's all embarrassed or whatever. And then from that crash, so crazy, like his whole like his whole right cheek all the way down his thigh to like about his knee from the back and almost to like it wrapped around the back into the front. He got what's called a hematoma. And his, his butt, for I want to say half a year, like six months from start to finish, it was black. Black and purple. Then black and blue and purple. We all know how bruising works. The slow fade into like yellow, like jaundice. And then further than that, it heals. So he has a picture up on the fridge actually at his like house uh, in the omelet video that's their house on the fridge he has a picture of like his his like right cheek and and down his thigh and everything and it's literally I it's like a white man's body here and then over here it's like this like disformed discolored like puffy black purple blue just like frostbitten almost looking like just dead leg. It was a crazy accident, but the most funny was just me being like, is that shit? Like, <laughs> why does it smell like shit? And then him just being like, <laughs> you know, I caramilked myself. Like he really just, completely the runs but he hit so hard just <clears throat> so we're doing poo poo jokes but it's a good story at least for me it killed me it fucking killed me so 
That was delicious as per usual. Till the next one, you know what to do. You gotta eat good, live well. Stay true. Peace.